family came to Norway when I was young. We came from Somalia. My father was always into sports. Uh, he was a FIFA referee. I didn't want to be a referee because, you know... <laughs> Brilliant. As a small kid, you just play football to enjoy yourself, you know. But as you grow older, you, get, you become better and better and you learn a lot. The first club I started was for Eje Tretten. I played for them about two years. And then uh, I moved to Fjellhammar, Lönskog. We used to go to tournaments, we used to win about 10. And I used to score about 7 or something. <laughs> I was selfish. That's the way it is, you know, when you're young. And then I played there until I came to City. Nice right off the court, yeah. Go on. Again. First of again. all, my father moved here with me. And then uh, we got an apartment. But after one year, my whole family came. And uh, I'm really happy, you know. I don't think I'll be here without them because they've really helped me a lot and uh, I'm really happy that they could come here. They think like Manchester is a really nice place, you know, and, uh, and uh, they're a big city fan now. <laughs> yeah. I've been at the academy for two years. The difference was really massive. It was much higher tempo, more physical, you know. You don't get the chance to, you know, dribble all the team. In Norway, when you tackle someone, you know, you don't even look him, you just go. When I came here, they were really helpful in helping me, you know, so, uh, about, with the language and everything. They used to teach me, you know, the things that I didn't know. We won the FA Youth Cup that year, the first year, but I was not really, I didn't play a lot, about five minutes, because I was still about 17, I think. That was a really good experience for me, of course, you know. We had a lot of good players. We went to Dallas and we came to the final. We lost to Sao Paulo and we came to the semi-final, the FA Youth Cup as well, lost to Arsenal. Just being at the academy has helped me a lot, you know. You know, we all support each other. I see you producing so many players. Toy, all the English players, and Ray Cunningham, Deirdre, Alex, namely, all of it. And I'm really happy that I've been through the academy. It's really amazing. I used to watch all the stars, and, and I want to be one of them one day. One or two of these faces coming out in Manchester City, light blue, that you might not recognise. I got to train with the first team in, uh, I think it was in Christmas, when Mancini came here. It was actually a good Christmas gift. Got my debut against Conthorp and uh, it was really fantastic to get a debut. He could go all the way, Marcus Williams. Good tracking back by the youngster, Ibrahim. The coach told us about two hours before the game. I was really shocked. Manchester City, one of the great producers of talent. You know, when you're a football player, you have to just, you know, it gives you a lot of surprises. So you just need to take it and really enjoy it. I was really happy. I was top of the uh, you know, moon and really, I was really delighted you know, to get my debut at uh, so young age. Yeah, I had some interviews from back Norway because uh, they want to know how I'm doing here and how everything is going with me and how I'm enjoying everything. So it's really good to get you know, the press over here. That's a really new experience for me because I'm not actually used to it because before I used to be shy. They want, of course, me to play for the national team. And if I get that chance, I'm really going to take it and, you know, just enjoy it. They were just asking me about, you know, uh, how the training is with uh, all the stars and how is uh, Patrick Vieira as a person. And they've scored again! Patrick Vieira with the header! Yeah, you know, he helps me, you know, the times I train with him, so it's really good. And he's a fantastic player in training, so um, I just, you know, need to keep learning from him and keep improving and, you know, just, you know, certain information from him and whatever. 
so I become uh, maybe a city legend. Yeah. <laughs> see, it's of course a big club now. They can buy whoever they want. Just to get a new contract is a really big thing for me. Today I'm gonna sign a new contract for I think it's four and a half years. So yeah, uh, I've been really waiting for this. So it just shows you know that the club you know uh, want me to improve and keep learning and you know just keep doing well. And I really appreciate it. So it's really good. It's quite a uh, long, long time, but I think I'm going to be 22 at that time. So it's really good, you know, City is a big club, you know. Uh, not everyone gets a, a chance, you know, like this. So I just need to grip there and, you know, keep improving and, you know, keep doing well. And, uh, you know, see how it goes. So uh, before I used to support Arsenal, you know, and I used to watch all the games. Now, you know, uh, you know the love for Arsenal is just going away. So uh, now I support City. Like I watch every game, so it's really good, and I'm really, really delighted to be at City. This is the Just to get a new contract is a really big thing for me, you know, that gives me, you know, a few years to improve and keep learning, you know, and just to make the most out of it and, you know, enjoy it, get into the Champions League maybe and win the whole thing maybe. on the bench for Manchester City. It's uh, by far and away the least well-known that comes on. Very, very highly rated youngster though.